Well, what do you mean? My sister drove in high school, man. <laughs> Wait, what? Your sister? No, 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 this is a Turbo S. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Josh from Spotted Euros, and in front of me and behind you, there is uh, a new car. We got a new car, so uh, here it is. Volkswagen Beetle Turbo S. That's right, Turbo S. Don't be mistaken, it's a Turbo S. So check it out, guys. So this is cool. Um, I have never really been a huge fan of these um, until recently when uh, Hoovy's Garage bought one of these and now uh, the Car Wizard owns one or owns that same one. So for those who don't know, there are a couple of differences uh, from this Turbo S and I want to make this very clear. There are differences, big differences, big differences that make this a cool car. Those differences are, uh, starting with the appearance, front and back bumper. So as you can see, these are unique to the Turbo S. This front bumper, the way it looks, the way it is. Uh, this grill at the bottom, and then also having the turn signals in the bumper itself. You can instantly recognize this car by the front bumper and by the back bumper. The back bumper as well it uh, the whole look brings it down quite a bit uh, with this extra spoiler here in the back and then also the big thing you'll instantly notice is the license plate the license plate is mounted here instead of up here the other Beatles the ones uh, the other ones <laughs> are uh, mounted right here okay so the active arrow so this is what's cool it's funny because Volkswagen uh, they start doing this with a number of cars so one of the other cars that they had active arrow on was the Corrado so similar time period um, the Corrado had a feature similar to this once you pass 45 miles an hour this actually flips up so there is a hidden switch that you can press underneath the dash that also lets you manually raise up the spoiler. So this right here, you can see, that is the spoiler. And the amount of downforce on that puppy is, uh, is huge. One of the other big differences is uh, the engine. So these came with the 1.8 liter, as you can see, 20 valve uh, turbo engine. Now this was the same engine that they put in a lot of different cars at the time. Uh, the GTI had this. The uh, GLI had this, you could also get this in the um, just a regular Jetta. The recent wagon that we had had a 1.8 T as well, so it's definitely a motor that they use quite a bit. Okay, and a couple of differences here on the inside, one being stick shift. So all of the Turbo S's were stick shift. You could get a Beetle Turbo uh, with a automatic, but that is not the Turbo S. These all came with stick shift and also a six speed. And then as you can see, let's see, get a better shot, but uh, also the seats and the interior. So this came with this black and gray leather seats. Also you can see the bolsters on both sides. Um, the bolsters on the bottom and the back were a little bit more aggressive. So uh, that was also a pretty nice touch. This car also came with some uh, springs that were just a little bit stiffer, uh, so it gave it a, a sportier feel. And so those are the main differences. Don't forget the differences, they're huge. They make all the difference. This is a, this is a cool car. This is a cool car. <laughs> so the thing with this car, I got this car for 800 bucks. Now, obviously you saw there are a bunch of flaws to this, but uh, there's one 
one main flaw. There's one pretty big flaw. And uh, before we talk about it, let's let me just get in the car. I uh, I think I have an idea on how to uh, debunk this once and for all. Okay, guys. So before we uh, before we get driving, uh, I should probably mention here's one of the problems with uh, owning these Beetles. Uh, most of these cars were uh, driven by girls. Um, that's not necessarily a huge problem but here's the thing they weren't driving turbo s's they were driving just base model beetles with the flowers the flower wheels all that kind of stuff that's not the same thing we are not in the same car at all i mean it's the same car but it's not the same car so uh anyway actually let's let's uh let's do this I got a friend, I'm gonna give him a call. He's a car guy, and he'll, so he'll know. He'll kind of, you know, I'll say, hey, I just bought this car, and uh, what do you think? Is this cool, or is this, anyway. Let's get to it, he's a car guy, so he knows, he'll, he'll know, he'll know the car. <laughs> Which means it's probably in my category. Yeah, well, you know me, Volkswagen guy, so uh, I picked up a 2002 Beetle, but it's a Beetle Turbo S. What do you think? Josh, that's not my kind of car. <laughs> I have higher hopes. Well, what do you mean? Well, my sister drove in high school, man. <laughs> Wait, what? Your sister? No, 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 no. This is a Turbo S. I'm sh Maybe your sister drove a Beetle, but this is a Turbo S. Beetle's a beetle. <clears throat> okay, here's the thing. I, you know, Logan, he's got an MR2 and uh, the whole thing with snap oversteer. Uh, you know, car guy, I guess I was a little loose in using the term. Okay, guys, so here's the thing. I think I have an idea to solve this problem. And it's a big problem. Nice it's car, the. Girl. What? Wait. What did that guy say? Are you kidding me? Okay, so like I said, we are going to solve this once and for all. Okay. Yes, this is a great idea. All right, can you read that? Turbo S wheels. Turbo S wheels, these wheels are specific to this car. Air, okay. I'll just gloss over that. Okay, here we go. Make sure. Not as, okay. All right, perfect. modifications done to this car as you can see a uh, younger uh, gentleman uh, <laughs> owned this car before me and uh, he did his uh, high school high school desires to this car so uh, we did get it for cheap and uh, luckily a lot of the things that have been done to the car I think can be easily done so uh, the big thing is a couple of cans of a plasti dip And you can definitely see it. So on the hood, the roof, and uh, also the uh, the rear wing. Now the rear wing, hopefully you guys can hear me. It's kind of loud in here, but the rear wing is not uh, OEM for this year for the Turbo S. Did not come with that. Um, it just came with the uh, the Active Aero, as you can see on the back window and uh, that came off another beetle. I don't even uh, necessarily think it looks bad. Just wish it wasn't black. If it was the same color, I think it would actually look pretty good. But it isn't uh, Turbo S. So uh, the wheels have been plasti dipped, the hood has been plasti dipped, the roof and the back spoiler. So hopefully we're able to uh, undo all that. Now the other thing is there is an exhaust. You can hear that. Uh, I'm sure well um, I think that was done by the previous person 
even before the last owner had it. It's a straight pipe. From the uh, cat back, so it's pretty loud. Doesn't sound bad, but it's kind of loud. And also, one of the big things um, is uh, the cut spring. So this turbo has to sit in pretty low, and that is because the previous owner cut the springs, unfortunately. Now, the Turbo S springs are a little bit stiffer, so unfortunately, I can't really test that out. But, uh, so uh, that's definitely an issue. Um, and then, uh, probably the biggest cosmetic issue was not necessarily a uh, modification. Well, I guess it modified it. But the rear bumper, the rear bumper got smashed at some point and uh, not looking very good. But other than that, it actually doesn't drive so bad. Um, the exhaust is a little loud, but uh, I'm not too crazy, like, I'm not too afraid of a loud exhaust. So the other problem with this car with the cut springs is uh, the struts and the shocks out back uh, definitely feel blown. So unfortunately, it's a pretty rough ride. And uh, that right there was the, uh, the Active Aero disengaging. So outside of the exhaust and the blown out suspension and the turbo that's not quite making full boost, it doesn't drive so bad. <laughs> the alignment's nice, tires are almost new, um, and uh, we're not even getting, all we have is uh, an airbag light. So in Volkswagen terms, that's, uh, that's actually pretty good. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna have plenty of videos on this car. I have had this car for about a week now and I have been dying to change some of this, to scrape off some of these stickers on the back of this window. Um, to peel off all this Plasti Dip, you can see I already, already kind of check to make sure that uh, I could take everything off. So anyways, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. If you're excited to see more on this Turbo S, this Beetle Turbo S, hit the subscribe button because uh, we're definitely going to make this at least look a lot better. And then hopefully we can address some of the other issues um, mechanically. But uh, anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.